Hello, um, my name is Michael Eden and uh, I live in the northwest of England uh, over in the UK and happy to be here at SOFA. Um, for the last 25 years or so I've been a potter making traditional ceramics but over the last few years I developed an interest in digital ways of working using computer aided design and new manufacturing technology to create a, a completely new body of work which sort of brings together my previous uh, experience as a potter and my interest in the history of ceramics and the history of objects and their cultural meaning and um, I created a series of pieces including the, um, the Amalfia that you can see here I, I, my aim is that the work that I produce has a strong narrative content, it tells a story. And in the case of, uh, of the pair of pieces here, this tells a story, or my interpretation, of the, the World Wide Web, the internet. And, the, and the, the cornucopia that you see here represents the fount of all knowledge available through the, the click of a mouse or through a website or a search engine whose, whose name begins with G that you may be able to see in the detailing of the surface here. Now the other um, sort of interesting thing about, about this is what I'm trying to do is to create an actual experience of the, of the physical object but through the code that's on the, the white piece here, it's a type of QR code which can be scanned by a barcode reader application on a smartphone and it links to pages on my website that tells the story. The idea being that you have an actual experience of the physical object and a virtual experience of the object at the same time. And I'm hoping at some stage in the future to, to develop this so that when the objects are scanned it perhaps leads to video or music or a sort of multimedia experience comes from this. Now I couldn't make these using conventional ceramic te techniques or ceramic materials in fact and they've been made using uh, new technology uh, whose title is additive manufacturing and it's a type of 3D printing. Uh, they've been designed as I say on the computer and the data goes through to a very sophisticated machine that lays down layers of material and sinters the material together. It melts the material together with a laser uh, in incredible detail over a very long period of time. These um, Amalfia pieces probably took in the region of, of 50 hours to, to print and weeks in front of the computer to actually design. And for me, it really is about transferring those skills that I developed on, a, on the wheel as a potter, trying to capture the same sort of energy of a line, the curve and the grace of a, of a piece, and reinterpret it through the mouse, through the computer, and through this technology. There's a series of other pieces here at uh, SOFA that perhaps we could have a look at. So what we see here are the, the Bloom series. Um, three sort of iterations of the Bloom series and uh, the starting point for these was wanting to take something from the first industrial revolution and, and reinterpret it and bring it sort of kicking and screaming into the 21st century. I wanted to um, take this iconic object and I had to choose Wedgwood because he was at the forefront of the first industrial revolution and redesign the object so that it could not be made using conventional ceramic uh, processes. Um, it could only be made using the technology of the, of the, um, of the new industrial revolution. And um, yeah, this is, this, is, this is the result. And if Josiah was here today, I'm sure that he would be at the forefront of this revolution and leading the way. My, um, my attempt to create digital coiling uh, I'm sure those of you who had experience of pottery classes or make ceramics will have rolled sausages, sausages of clay and curled them round and, and created a, a three-dimensional object. What I've done here, in effect, is digitally coil these pieces. And then, again, there are various iterations, various sort of interpretations, uh, including this piece here that's... Um, 
I've had coated with copper and created this verdigris effect. So it's a structural layer of copper that's over the top of the of the um, nylon that the piece was printed in with a 3D printer. And here are a pair of pieces that were inspired by a 1766 Sevres porcelain uh, piece in the Wallace Collection in London. I was asked to reinterpret a classic piece uh, in the Wallace Collection and chose uh, a lidded tureen. And I wanted to, again, tell a story. I wanted the piece to have a narrative content. So you have a familiar object here, something that um, most people would recognize. There are cultural, historical associations with the piece. But what I've done is, again, try to bring it really kicking and screaming into the 21st century. And the imagery you see here is inspired by, by bling, by sort of costume jewelry. So you see the Ferrari logos and the skull and crossbones and the, the crowns and such like. And lower down on the foot of the piece, you see the stretch limos, these sort of icons of, of, um, of material, uh, material wealth or, or pretend material wealth um, that in this case comes screaming through the piece. And if I just turn it round, you'll see how it comes sort of screaming and emerging out of the other side of the piece, this sort of clash of cultures. So the work for me isn't about the technology, it's really about applying this new industrial revolution in order to tell stories. For me it's very important for the work to have a narrative content. It's not how I've made it, it's why I've made it is the most important thing.